Hello everyone and welcome to another new review and this one is on The Clash, issue number 26. So this issue is called On the Hunt for Spitfire. It's only a one-way issue, there's no parts of it. This issue starts with The Flash um, chasing Spitfire, the one who killed his kind of friend, Dr. Carlson. And when he was chasing her, he couldn't really catch up since she was in a, into a plane and he couldn't fly. The only thing he could do was just run. So basically, he goes back to Central City to check on his friend, but sadly, he couldn't survive that attack that Spitfire gave. And he was looking for evidence that could take down Spitfire. Later on, he knows where, uh, like where Spitfire is gonna hit the next shot and she goes after the airplane that holds the Rinnick, Pubinic, Plouge, Joker serum, the deadliest weapon that our man knows. So she goes in, she takes it and she blows the airplane that had that serum. After that, uh, you know that there was that movement that was like shocking and awesome, the flash walking on a cloud. So uh, here's the flash fact, uh, I'm gonna read it quickly. Altos Altostrode's clouds are, compo are composed of ice crystals by vibrating his feet in such a way as to create extreme localized up, uh, up difference. Flash can attract enough of these crystals to provide just enough substance to run on a force of a very short time. So the running he's doing, uh, he's doing I mean, uh, it's like only for a short time on the cloud and it was enough for the Flash to catch up on the plane and take down Spitfire. So he goes in, uh, Spitfire didn't really care about the serum at all, she just threw them in the sky and the Flash went uh, after them so he could, you know, save the day so nothing would happen to Earth and blah blah blah. So later on, Spitfire kind of gets caught, you know, that was it pretty much. Um, she didn't try to run away and that was the end of issue number 26. I pretty much liked it, I liked the art, it was pretty cool, the color was awesome as well. The cover was good, everything was good about it, I would give it 9 out of 10, and I would love to see more of these, you know, art and colors in The Flash, and it's a must, you should read it, and it's on my bad list, I don't know about you guys, but hopefully I'm gonna buy it as well. See you guys later, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe right down below, and leave your thoughts on the new artist, uh, Neil Gogg, tell me what do you think about him. From my side, I pretty much like it. It's like something like the cartoons. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching, and see you guys later. Take care.